On Tuesday, September 19th, Portland's resident Fuhrer, Ted Wheeler, proposed an idea to the city chamber of fascists that he believed would make the transition to the new form of government structure a lot smoother, putting the city's 20-plus bureaus under the control of the mayor. Yep, that's right. He wants the mayor of Portland to essentially be the director or commissioner in charge of all of our city's government agencies under the control of himself or his political successors. Essentially, like how it already is for the Portland Police Bureau, where the mayor is the police commissioner. And if you know anything about power in the hands of one person, then you know exactly what this is all too similar situation is sounding like. Last November, voters approved a new form of governance for the city of Portland that would see the creation of a city administrator and 12 city council members. Currently, the city only has five city council members, including the mayor of Portland himself, who is the head of the council. Under the new system, which is set to take effect on January 1st, 2025, following the November 2024 U.S. general elections, Portland will take on a semi-presidential style of government, unique to most U.S. cities with 12 districted seats, as opposed to the current five at-large seats, and special elections will no longer be used to fill vacancies. Three councillors will represent one of the current four representing roughly 160,000 residents as opposed to only one councillor per five districts. The mayor will also no longer be part of the city council and will be elected in a, in a separate election that will be held on the same day. A city administrator will become the new head of the city council appointed by the mayor and the mayor will essentially act as head of state uh, of city affairs. Currently, Portland operates as a commission-based city manager style of governance, with one of the five commissioners appointed to operate and oversee various city bureaus, such as the Fire and Rescue, Environmental Services, the Water Bureau, etc. What Taylor, Ted Wheeler wants to do is to put all of these bureaus under the authority of the mayor instead of dividing it between 12 councillors, appointing random non-elected persons to these posts, or simply to the spot it's supposed to go to, which is the city administrator. And while the city administrator and city council may essentially run the government, Wheeler's proposal seems to take the power and control of these city agencies directly into the hands of the mayor. This would effectively give the mayor quasi-dictatorial power over the city's operations, with the only thing the city council being good for is proposing and passing legislation that are essentially just already a rubber stamp for the mayor's office as it is. But even with this expanded representation in the city council, transferring all directorial control over the city's agencies into the hands of one person is a power grab for Wheeler, who has stated that he will not be running for re-election anyway. However, Wheeler is likely using this as a power grab as he stated he believes that this will make for a smoother transition to the new form of government implying he wants those powers to himself in the interim. This proposal has been opposed by the me other members of the city council, including Mingus Maps, who is a declared candidate for mayor, though this may simply be a public relations move as to avoid controversy in supporting such an autocratic and radical change with a year left until the election. It would also defeat the purpose of the city administrator, who besides being the city head of government, will be the one overseeing the, the city's bureaus. But here's where it gets interesting. The city administrator is not going to be one of those people elected to the city council. He's actually a special member that is appointed by the mayor himself, essentially like a prime minister in most semi-presidential systems. So why would the mayor want to have total control over city agencies if it's going to be given to someone who is essentially going to be doing his bidding anyway? To be honest, the whole new form of governments is shrouded in a nice little quasi-democratic bow when it really is all just a plan for the city council to exercise more power into the hands of a few select individuals. This recent proposal is just a more autocratic form of that. 
but we really shouldn't be surprised given that the Portland City Council is run by social fascists, and given they are opening up the city council to the potential of inviting actual fascists into the government, is only going to make things worse, not better, for the city's residents. The city is already suffering a major affordable housing problem, forcing more people into homelessness. People, including myself, struggling just to keep food on the table and the lights on as costs of energy are expected to rise this winter. And the city's solution to this is to put up more criminal elements on the homeless and those already struggling instead of actually doing something to make their lives better. And now on top of that, they want to tighten their control on government so that they can tighten control on the social services that the people have come to rely on. This is why Marxist, Leninist, and Maoist third worldists criticize people and government institutions like this as being social fascists, as they pretend to care about the people and the social issues that plague them, usually in order to get elected. But once in office, your plight rarely, if ever, benefits them. They care more about protecting businesses and private property owners than they do about the actual lump and masses. Instead, they will do the opposite and crack down on poor people by making the access to housing, food, social services, or other resources harder, either by legislative and or financial means, then criminalizing the repercussions that come to face those lump and masses instead of confronting and taking responsibility for them. This is the status quo of the bourgeois mindset, and people who continue to think that vote blue no matter who will somehow make things better or is the lesser of the two evils, it's not. They are the same. One is just a watered-down version of it who pussyfoots around, while the other is a lot more bombastic about it. In other words, it doesn't matter who ultimately holds the power over the city's agencies, whether it be members of the Portland Chamber of Fascists, a city administrator, or the mayor himself. Wheeler and his cronies in the city council themselves have already assured that under this new system, everyone who has already been fucked by the city council will continue to get fucked in an ever more increasing autocratic and draconian way. Goddess help us all. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time. <laughs> Oh,